This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Seven years ago, my mom died. She left behind a bunch of journals, and I read through them, and your name was mentioned specifically about a meeting you had roughly 23 years ago. Call me stupid if you want. What are you getting at? I'm your daughter. What? You're... You're my daughter? I... I have a daughter? That is why we've been asking questions, that is why we've been wanting to learn more, and... I realize the conversation might have sounded really, really that. bad. My daughter? Now, put your hands down. This is... Forgive me, okay? Jeez. Sorry, Calvin. Let me just clean you up here a little bit. Sorry about that. Hey! I thought you guys were trying to fucking kill me or something. I mean, I've been getting these weird vibes from the city ever since I started doing this, and it's like everybody's out to fucking get me. And then we hear you guys talking about this. This is... I, I would have already killed you if I wanted to do it. It does... It's not the point. It's what I heard is all. I'm just trying to protect myself. I'm sure you understand. Are you 100% sure that you are my daughter? Like she said that I'm a dad? I can I can show you the journals. She was pregnant and she wasn't with my stepfather. And that was the whole reason why I was kicked out of my family was because I wasn't part of that family. That's, that's fucking unbelievable, huh? I'm a dad, Kyle. Brandon, look at that. Congratulations. Apparently I'm a fucking dad. Salud. Maybe we should I, give him I'm, a moment. The others left to give Katarina and I a bit of privacy so we can discuss it more. I, I am perfectly okay with with the test to, to prove it, but I, I believe what my mom wrote, and I, I'm I'm really really sorry about being secretive about it, and and. No, no, I don't. I don't know what to say. You know, I, this I never expected this. Oh my god, I just remembered. Our first fucking conversation was like about shit or something like that. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, <laughs> look, I, I'm just... Oh man, this situation is really... It, it's something else. I, I mean, look at what I'm into now. I'm perfectly aware. Sorry, I'm still all shaky. <laughs> no, it, it's okay. I was... I, I, I'm so sorry about that. I I really thought you, you were like plotting or something against me. I, I, I didn't, it didn't make sense either when I heard it. You could have killed me a long time ago and just taken all the fucking money and ran. But you didn't, so made me believe your story a whole lot more. Uh, listen, it's gonna be weird. You know, I, I don't know how to be a dad. And and you're all grown up now. I mean, look at you. I mean, I believe yeah. your mother. I, I, I believe her. 100%. If she said I was the dad, then I was the dad. I, I didn't wear protection. We were reckless back then, you know, different time. Look, I, I, I don't know how I feel about you being in this business anymore. You know, what I do right now, this... I would have never done this if I would have known before. If I would have known I was a father, I wouldn't get into all of this, but it's like too late now, you know? I'm in it all the way. So much I want to catch up with you, I just want to know you, you know? If you really just are my daughter. Take it, take it once, one day at a time. It was, uh, at first, uh, I, I thought you were going to be pretty much like my dad, well, my stepdad, and he was really hard, emotionless, and, um, but in the office when you talked about how, you know, it was too late for you to have a family, and if you had family, you would have held on to it, that's kind of when I knew that you would be a bit different. I'm really glad right now. I, I don't know how to feel. I'm happy and confused at the same time, but I'm sure we're going to get through this. We had decided to keep her being my daughter a secret for now and chalk it down a misunderstanding. And then it was back to business. As you know, we are a uh, business. And we try to provide for our family, bringing in some money and you know, making sure everything is okay with us and our business. There's a lot that needs to be accounted for. And for that, well, I've been relying on a lot of yours to uh, do that job, making sure you bring home the bacon, as they say. Because without it, our bellies cannot fill up. Very unfortunate. But before I get to that, I do want to make an official announcement. Something we've been talking about and lingering around it for a little bit. And, uh, well, I want to say that we're going to do things a little bit more modern. A little different. Usually we look for Italian blood. But these are new days. 
We don't want to discriminate. Good people is good people, and they deserve to be in a good family. So, from this point on, anybody you see out there who's interested in work does not need to have Italian blood. And also, we're gonna accept some ladies in the family now. Yeah, that's right. Some fucking women out there have more balls than all the men combined in this room. It's 20 fucking 18. So if people here don't fucking like that, or anybody else out there needs to judge my family and the way I run my family, well, all I have to say to them is, vaffanculo. They could go fuck themselves. Anyways, time to get down to business. What do we got here, Jimmy? What do we got here? What we got here? Two groups. Yeah. People will earn for the family and provide. And people who don't do shit. So how about that, Shai Jimmy? How about you uh, let us know what this side here has been doing? Oh, I like this side there, Don. I really like this side. Oh, I like you know, it. These are the people over here. These are the people that are bringing us the big bucks over here. Especially you there, Calvin. You brought us a lot of fucking money. Unfortunately, tonight we could only have all of you. But, you know, trust me, there are a lot who well, are I pulling mean, away. Uh, yeah, Mr. Scarpacci, Sal Scarpacci, he's been doing it too. Mr. Eddie Sorella, he's a good fucking stand-up guy. And then, how about this side, Jimmy? What do you see when you see this side? Well, uh, to be honest with you there, Don, I see three three fucking chooches who are piggybacking off the, the fucking means of the family. That's what I see. Yeah. What I see here... Well... What I see here are FUCKING SLACKERS! I don't fucking have time for this shit! You understand me? I'm trying to pull my fucking weight around this family. It's all I'm fucking doing. You have no idea the shit I have to go through. The stress. The goddamn motherfucking stress. I cannot say it enough, Jimmy. I cannot say it enough. You know what it's like, because, you know, you're right under me. And you're living some of that stress, too. You know, it's not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for anybody here. But when I have a bunch of fucking slackers not bringing in nothing, nothing, nada, I can't fucking have that. And you, Cosmo, you're one weird motherfucker. You understand me? You're fucking selling dope to kids, I hear. And sh I hope you're not doing that shit anymore. The sheer fact that you fucking did this shit really upsets me. It really does. So you're gonna have to stop yeah. pulling your fucking weight. You fucking vowed to this shit. All of you did. I had enough respect. Jimmy had enough respect to take you in. We're not gonna tolerate any bullshit. Because we'll do anything for you. But if you do nothing for us, nothing for us, this is what you fucking get. Now, do I make myself clear, everyone? Very clear. Very clear. Yeah, clear, boss. I'm doing understand it. We don't fucking know what's gonna happen if you don't fucking bring no money. This is a warning, and we only fucking give one of them. I have to ask you again to stop providing for your family members. You're not gonna be a part of the family no more. And you ain't just gonna leave willingly. You're leaving here in a fucking body bag, you hear me? Mm. Hey, I'll just say this, uh, I'll say this right now. Cosmo, if I ever fucking catch wind of you selling drugs to children, I will fucking string you up over the bridge with a fucking sign so everybody can fucking see you, alright? took a DNA test and it came back positive. She was indeed my daughter. We talked for a couple of days and tried to catch up as much as we could. But with the threat of Mancini at our doorstep, we had to take a hard decision, but a decision we both thought was appropriate for the time being. I cannot have my daughter working in a family. I just found her. I certainly don't want to lose her. So I sent her back to Liberty City. Calvin would of course be with her. The Fiori family would make sure to keep an eye on her as well found them a little apartment. I made sure the bills were paid. We stayed in touch using FaceTime calls and texts. Maybe one day we'd be together again. But I had to make sure it was safe first. Leah and Youngblood separated, so I took a drive with her to talk about it. You're really upset, huh? You have no idea. It kills me. I think that's why he's kind of out of town for now. Oh, uh, you said something about former contacts within the army needing him for certain things and not being able to tell me anything else and I am um, it doesn't that that is fine yeah. but it doesn't explain before that you know what I mean no I, I get you hm. yeah life sucks you know I've been with some ladies in my past and you know not recently I, 
I've lost a touch, you know. I'm not really in the game or anything, but I got my, my heart broken a couple times. And uh, I recently learned some big news myself. I, uh, you know, I have a daughter, it seems. You do? Yeah, 23 years old. I, I send her off, though. What I'm doing right now is just not for her. Ah, oh, uh, man. No, listen, uh, I don't know. It's just a little rough, you know. I just, just, we got to know each other a little bit. We talked and everything, but I, it's not safe for her to be around me all the time. So, uh, she's got to, like, Gotta be hard, Tony. Yeah, it is. You know, I, her mother never told me. And 23 years later, she just, like, she's here, and then... Yeah, she found all out... All this other uh, happened? Oh, my God. Her mother, God bless her soul, she, she passed away. And uh, she found the uh, journal, and in there it explained it. And I never thought. But it happened. She broke my heart, is what I'm saying. And it was hell. Oh. So, yeah, life sucks, you know? Sometimes you don't really get what you want. You were happy with what you had, and it's just gone. You'll get through it, though. I promise you. Thank you, Tony. I don't want this to affect anything with him. Like, no. he has worked no. and done things for you all, and of course, we're, I not, don't... we're gonna give him the time he needs. So don't worry about that. You know, he's he's gonna be okay. I'm not a cruel man, Leah. Well, I I don't I don't I don't enjoy hurting people. Okay, but you're gonna be all right. I, like I said, I promise you, you're gonna be just fine. Thanks, Tony. Of course. It was long of a duel, but it was finally time for me to pick the capos and consiglieri. My capos would be David Banks, Salvatore Scarpacci, and Eddie Sorella. My consiglieri would be Brandon Tirano. The familia was finally fully formed. There was another familia in the city that went by the name Valentinos. Unlike Andriacci, they approached us to discuss alliance might have helped that Faye was dating the Don, and his name was also Tony. Uh, ah. Yeah, here I am. The man himself. Uh, Mr. Moretti, if I may. Uh, you know Faye? Uh, Hello. yeah. Logan Valentino, white hat. Tony Valentino next to Faye, and, uh, Ox on the other side. Ox Valentino. Boys and girls. Alright. Mr. Tony Moretti. Hey, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Moretti. I've been hearing so much about you from Sal, huh? I've heard some very good Thanks. things about you as well. So, um... Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, it, it's my understanding that you, uh, are interested in a, uh, association here. Yeah, you know, I've known Sal from for some time now he's you know very respectable to work with you know so i thought you know maybe we could lend a hand i'm sure you understand how this usually works you know from one family to another there's nothing better than the families getting together and working on business together you know united it's just better than having war and your guys dying and our guys dying eventually because of some stupid fucking misunderstanding you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, of course. Sir. Yeah. I could understand that, see, seeing as we've been in the city for a very long time and we've uh, come across that quite a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, very disappointing. Some people do not like to share. I am sure you've heard of the uh, uh, Andriachis. Yeah, they've been around quite a bit as well. Yeah. See, I could respect you all. You're actually in front of me right now. You're actually talking to me, you know? Was that so bad? We're just fucking talking. We're getting to know each other. I'm having a blast. Yeah, there ain't there. nothing wrong with talking. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. they, they, they didn't want to meet up with you or what? I, I guess not. I don't know. I, I mean, I keep texting. My boys keep trying, and they keep telling them, hey, you know, our boss wants to talk with your boss, and they just, you know, complete ignorance. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but they're trying to avoid us for I don't even know what reason. They don't even know what the fuck we do yeah i'm not trying to impede or anything but goddamn those people do not want to share and that's one thing i know about them okay they got all the weapons they got all the drugs they got this and that and they keep acting like they're king shit well i don't like it and i'm sure you boys do not like it as well correct me if i'm wrong here yeah they've been getting on our nerves uh in the recent time they got a lot of rumors going around apparently with all that shit. One individual in particular, you know, fucking, uh, part of him fucking snow. Yeah, yeah, he acts all respectful in your face and then, uh, and then doesn't return your call. Uh, look, nobody's giving a shit. Everything is okay. It's just the Andriachis that are trying to own up everything. So if the Valentinos work with the Morettis, then it has more power to us. Your boys plus my boys equal a hell of a lot of fucking boys compared to theirs. I would like to create a summit, all right? Working on a committee of crime will help us. Everything is organized, everybody wins, and the cops lose even better. 
For now, we don't try to kill them or anything like that. We just want to send a message. We want to make sure the Andriachis need to sit down with us. Yeah, I, I think this, uh, this could be the start of something beautiful. Definitely about time those fucking Andriachis got knocked down a size of two, so... Let's see what happens. Ah, split sides. This club had been purchased by Sal, which would allow extra income for himself and the family, as well as social coverage for new clients. It was perfect for us, and it allowed Sal to become the top owner of the family. Split sides, huh? Split sides. Yeah. Yeah. One thing's for sure is, uh, you break the rules in here, we're gonna split your fucking side some other way, <laughs> not the good way. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, boss. Double fucking meaning. Split sides. You did good. It's a nice fucking place. Thank you. And I hope we hold on to it for a long time. You know, if ever you're in trouble for paying up for the rent, I could loan you the money. Of course. Thank you, boss. I mean, I'll be doing the work. <sighs> what a good start to uh, social business. It's going to be good. All right, let's go, eh? Very true. Absolutely, absolutely. in my life somebody hopped where, the fence where, down there where, and was watching us yeah i saw he just it, left I in a taxi it. i i think it's huh. that uh that uh russian guy vasily i have no Vas fucking idea what it is i think it's vasily remember that guy that we were at the pd with and he's a weird russian dude i i do i do okay well okay well let's all calm down let's all calm down there's a few more warm bodies on their way don i think you'll like a couple of them <laughs> <laughs> one of them's a uh, liberty city girl natasha all right, well, in the meantime, fix this shit and find this Vasily guy. While they were busy finding him, some friends of Sal arrived at the house for some casual business talk. Uh, Looks like hi, I took hello. the wrong way around the house. Hello. 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 Okay, well, let me introduce real quick the uh, old man on the side of the pool there. That's uh, Mr. Marcano, <laughs> Michael Marcano. Hey, screw you, man. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the wonderful oh, he's man. He's older in than the pool. dirt. Yeah, wonderful oh. man in the pool is Mr. Tony Moretti. Nice to meet you all. Hello. Pool. Hi, hello. <laughs> you have the uh, the kissing couple over there, Mrs. Uh, Miss Eden Ripley and Mr. Cal Williams. Uh-huh. Everyone. Uh -huh. This is from one end to hey, another, Mr. Doing? James Westfall, Miss Vanessa, and Miss Natasha. Hello. Hi. Hello, and uh, welcome to our home, uh, mi casa y su casa, as they say. And feel free to indulge yourself into a little bit of swimming. <laughs> well, thank you so much for inviting us. Yeah, thank you for inviting us. Let us come over. Uh, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, like I said, the whole business thing. You caught me at a bad time there. Just, you know, trying to relax. But, you know, we can all relax together. No reason oh, not, no, to, no, totally, not totally to enjoy. Fine. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind taking a bit of time off my mechanic work, so, you know. Natasha Cullen. That curly haired Liberty City girl in the blue swimsuit absolutely caught my eye. So I was even more curious as to why Sal invited them over for business. <clears throat> Uh, so, uh, I hear, uh, hey, yeah, you're friends with Sal, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and what is this uh, yeah, was, business uh, you want to uh, discuss with him, if you don't mind me asking here? Oh, I've got, uh, got my two friends here, Natasha and Vanessa, and they're uh, exotic dancers, and they're just looking for places to dance at. So we weren't too sure whether the comedy club was up for that or not. It's some, you know, doesn't have to be every night, but if there's certain events going on that they need waitresses or dancing waitresses or whatever. Ah, I see, I see. That's smart, that could be good. I'm sure Sal is going to find a fitting for you two uh, wonderful looking ladies, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, and you do private events, right? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm um, one of the security for them. We're part of the Dead Few oh, Motorcycle okay. Club you as take well. That one. Fuck. Natasha, where are you from in uh, Liberty yeah. City? Oh, all over. I bounced around oh, a lot. Oh, oh. oh shit. Well, you'll find that uh, quite a few other people you'll meet around these parts here are all broker boys, you know. Oh, Some okay, for longer okay. than others. Lived there for a long time. Yeah, I danced at some clubs okay. down there, you know, before coming over here. And, yeah. uh, just trying to get established, you know, pretty new to the town. So we're just of course, to get of course. Up, you know? yeah. I'm sure you're gonna get, uh, a lot of work. <laughs> and this is just me judging <laughs> on, uh, you know, first view here. <laughs> oh, thank oh, of you. Of course, of course. Thank you. And how about you? Uh, how about you, Vanessa? You are uh, you also a uh, Liberty City girl? No. Okay, just a minute. I have something I need to go deal with. Hi. Right. 
I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Help me have a seat here. Yeah. Uh oh. You uh -oh. stay there. Uh -oh. no. Don't worry about it. It's just some creep uh we think I've been uh, have been trying to fucking uh, spy uh, on this place for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. It's a very nice place, though. Well, thank you. Yeah, yep. I'm pretty proud of it. Very, very nice. It's a good place for this family. And I got a lot of family. But, you know, it's not just about the money, you know? Like, I enjoy DM them. Usually with some really good music to go along with it. It makes them really worthwhile. I have fun. I make them feel good about themselves. Make them have a better day. Yeah. No, not that. Uh, Mr. Morty, uh, come, come sit right here. Come sit right here with your legs in the pool. Let Natasha dance for you. Uh, uh, alright. <laughs> my god, she was captivating. I couldn't take my eyes off her. One thing's for sure, I knew this would not be the last time I'd see her. Well, I have not done this in a while. Refreshing. What, relax? Yeah. Yeah, let's call it that. Well, you know, we want to make you feel better, and you deserve to have a good time. Whenever you want a party, just let us know. We'll be down. I make you do feel that. better anytime. Well, I hope you enjoyed your show. I did. I did. I'll have my boy tip you. Trust me. <laughs> Aw, thank I mean, you. I mean, if anyone doesn't enjoy that show, there must be something wrong with them, to There's be There's something terribly fucking wrong with them. I gotta cool off. Give me a second. I got word that my guys captured the intruder from earlier, Vasily. I wanted to see his face for myself. Yeah, make sure to uh, make sure to tip him for the tax. I have things to do. Of course. But yeah, you, yeah you do. Yeah. I'd say you do have Money to earn. Here, buddy. I, I'm gonna tell you one more fucking night. I'm gonna be calling you, and I'm gonna be sending you a message. If you try to fucking run, you try to fucking hide, you ignore my calls, my message, and you don't give me my fucking money, I swear to God, me and my 20 other fucking friends will be at your doorstep or whatever fucking hole you're hiding in, and we will fucking kill you. Brutally. Consider this an offering and a second chance, because next time, you know, we're not gonna be as nice. Alright. Are we done with this thing? Yeah, we're done with it. I, I so. got a hand. Alright. I can resume to my phone. Alright, All let's right. go. That was the guy uh, sneaking yep. around, eh? Yeah, I knew it. Yep. Kyle and I uh, came up with the idea to go. have Kyle and Marcano drive off somewhere. We, we request a taxi, get them, or get them to pick them up, and you know, hold them at gunpoint, obviously. So, yeah. worked out. Worked out quite well. That was a smart idea. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah. Where is Sal? Fantastic. Good job, back babe. In the house somewhere. I'm proud of you. Alright. Good job, guys. Natasha and the others spent all night at the house and we had a blast. Let me tell you. I didn't feel this way about a woman since Maria, 23 years ago. I had to see her again. But first things first, unfinished business needed to be handled. Place your hands above your head. Hands above your head, bud. There you go. Don't move. Don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut and do what we say. All right, let me frisk Get you. Get back of the car. In the car, let's go. Can you move? There you go. Remember that night at Yellow Jacks when cops busted 22K of a dirty money because of some random chooch? It was time for him to pay his dues. We used Twitter to lure him out and catch him. And in this family, we do not forget when you wronged us. All debts must be paid back. Or, unfortunate things may happen to you. God forbid. Uh, Hello there, Mr. Whoa. John. How are you today? Uh, good until now. I'm lost on what this is about. Uh, yeah, I might seem like that. Come with me. Come on. Yeah, I have no clue what this is about, brother. You're about to. Uh, 
Well, yeah, we're gonna explain everything to you, don't worry. I mean, we're not uh, inhumane here or anything. Uh, you see, there was a night we were at the Yellow Jack. We were having a lot of fun, and then you, uh, you walked in and dropped a lot of cocaine all over the place. And then you triggered the alarm, and the cops came. And you know what that resulted? In you being able to go away scots free one of my guys getting jailed up, and I lost 22k of dirty cash. Eh? Quite unfortunate. I don't know why you did that. I really don't. No, I say, all right, when I came in, I came in for drinks, and that was by mistake. And then later on, the next day or whatever, that was, uh, I thought this was already dealt with. I had two people follow me or whatever. They held me up at gunpoint or whatever. They talked to me or whatever. I told them the situation or whatever, and I thought it was done with. I still am 22K under, and I, my friend, do not accept that bullshit. Kyle, Banks. How about you show this fella you what we do to people me. who fuck with us? You messed up. And to be quite honest, I should bury you under the cement in these new homes here. But today I'm gonna give you a chance. All right. Oh, hey, 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 hold on, not too much here. All right, now listen to me clear. There's Banks here. He's got a nice new knife that he wants to use, and I know he's itching to use it. Hey, Banks, tell me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very. He's not only a good driver, but I'm betting he's a goddamn good stabber. Now, I want you to listen to me, John, all right? Because I'm only going to say this once. You're going to pay me back my 22K of dirty cash. What do you have right, on you right now? let's go to the bank. You, you clean, keep your fucking clean money, all right? I want my 22K of dirty money. That is what I lost that night because of your wrongdoings. Do we have an understanding? You would have one week from today, and I got your number, John. You tweet a lot, and we've been keeping an eye on you. Yeah, no. See, I could kill you right now, it's just 22k, but I'm a man of principle, you see? Just pay back the 22k in one week from now, and you're gonna be okay, I promise. We're not gonna hurt you no longer, we're not going to kill you, or throw you over a bridge, or bury you under these new houses. We're just gonna let you go scot-free, no harm, no foul. Alright, brother. All right, John, listen to me. If you if you set anything up to get some people against us because you fucked up and you lost me some fucking money, you, you, you're dead. You're dead, okay? There's no coming back from that. I'm gonna fucking murder you myself. But I don't want to do that. You know, it disappoints me to have to kill people. I, I, I don't feel good about that, but I'm gonna do it, all right? So hopefully I don't have to because you look like an okay guy, John. Are you an okay guy? Are you one of them rats? Hell no, I ain't no rat. Now get me my fucking money. 22k of dirty cash. One week.